Hey guys, Coach Tommy here from Activate. How y'all keeping? So this video, I'm gonna go through the kip, okay? So if in a previous video, I went through the hollow and the arch hold, um, all about making sure that you build good strength and awareness and from the floor, you wanna make sure that you solidify that before ever opening it to a bar, okay? Once you get good and strong, you're able to hold it for roughly about 30 seconds in each pose, okay? Then we can start bringing it to the bar and build the skill and awareness on it, okay? Before ever progressing on other more high skill movements like toe to bar or pull ups and things. So in the kip, okay, as you hang from the bar, you want to make sure you get into an active hang. So when you're up there in the bar, pulling your shoulders back and down to engage those shoulders and lats, okay? So you have good control of your body up there before initiating the kip. Now, the kip is from going hollow to arch in a nice controlled manner, okay? But not by swinging the legs. People tend to swing the legs thinking that's what makes the kip, when really you're moving through the body, okay? So I'm actually pulling my weight down, coming through naturally, gradually going to really back, but I'm staying absolutely tight in that arch position, okay? And the tighter I am, the more stretch reflex and the better sort of push back I get, the stronger. And as you get that kip, you're gonna build more strength, get a, a bigger one, you're gonna come back even further, allowing you to progress onto those other movements, okay? So, silent demo of how that would look. So, active hang. And that is your kip. So, you gotta have good, full control through the body. So, if you notice my legs never came up too high or just donkey kick behind, I was moving through the lats, the shoulders, the arms, okay? Because that's what initiates the first pivot movement and then you can start using the momentum to your advantage. So hanging, active hang, okay? So if you notice, I'm gonna pull my weight back. I'm pulling that bar down towards the floor and that will bring me into that hollow position. Then I'm gonna right, come through into this tight arch, get a good sort of stretch reflex or sort of spring feeling. I'm always moving through the upper body, not from the hip down, okay? When it does come to other high skill movements, that's where we start initiating the hip, sort of a snap to help really thrust our way towards, um, whether it's a pull up or a toe to bar. So the kip is something then, build a good, strong, hollow arch first, bring it up to the bar to actually build, be able to get awareness and skill on actually holding a good kip, okay, being able to have good control, and control is where you're able to start the kip suddenly, okay? So if you're swinging and kipping is completely different, okay? So if I initiate with the legs, I'm all over the place, I have no arm control, if I want to stop suddenly, I can't, I'm trying, gone so I have no control then you if you don't have control of your body you're not going to have control of what movements you're trying to perform so you should be able to create the kick hold the hip and if you ever want to stop I have to have good control right there so I like to do that with some clients to really show me and show themselves what control is okay so that is the kick guys if you have any questions on that fire away hope you enjoyed this video catch you on the next one Thank <laughs> you.